You're plugging me. No, I got it. There we go. <gasps> Hello. Check it out. <laughs> We're streaming. We are. Um, I caught the plague <laughs> in Dallas. Where'd it go? Um, Where'd you catch it? In case you don't know, uh, I streamed the Dallas Vault Tour. Congratulations. Which um, means technically, during the main event in Dallas, I am undefeated in both Archon and Alliance. <laughs> Because I was registered, and I lost zero matches. <laughs> Just saying. Um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I will say that broadcasting on your own is, is work. Um, I'd, never, I'd never done something like that completely on my own. Um, when I'd done it for some of the smaller, like, in-store events and stuff like that, I always had, like, a runner, like an assistant, to kind of help out yeah as it were and no it, it was and all the event staff at ghost galaxy were wonderful everybody there was amazing they helped out as much as they could they were also busy and had things going on so i felt like i didn't want to be in imposition and be like hey could somebody like run me matches so i was like running back and forth a lot changing scenes a lot so i kind of missed some stuff but they are up on our youtube now and they have been condensed down um, into what I consider, like, you won't have to skip through to get, like, a bunch of content. Like, if go. it's on a waiting screen for a while, that means there was chat that was pertinent to what was going on. So, for instance, in the Top 8 stream, there is a section where there's quite a bit of the BRB screen, and that's because I list out the Top 8s for both Archon and Alliance in the chat there, and you can read them as you're going through the stream. Um, I tried to link all of the decks that I could, um, and I know for the top eight I was a lot better at that than I was for the um, main event day one, um, but those are up on our YouTube. Um, I managed to bring the TTR belt back. Good job. Had three challenges. Uh, was fully expecting to lose the first one, <laughs> won it, played the second one, managed to win that one too. And then the third one I managed to win, and I was like, wow. Like, and my brain was so fried from streaming. I, I'm really sorry, people, if I did not get to you um, with a challenge. That's my bad. Um, streaming took a whole lot more, and on Sunday, I'm a pretty nervous flyer. So, like, I like to get to the airport early, and I just, after we got done with the top eight, I really had to skedaddle out of there. So, if you were wanting to challenge me and... Um, you didn't, uh, stay tuned. I'm sure I'll be at something in the future and happy to lose the belt um, at some point in time. Honestly, I don't want to keep it forever. That doesn't mean I'm going to take it easy. Like, that's the thing. is I'm <laughs> going to play to the best of my ability. So if, if you want to take it, you can... You can take it, but I'm still going to, like, play to the best of my ability. As you should. Um, but part of me is also like, will somebody please take the belt from me? Because it's very stressful to have. <laughs> <laughs> my wife tells me I can't come home without it. And I figure <laughs> I need to test this at some point in time. Because um, I know I'm going to lose it one day. And I'd rather it be sooner while we're still kind of newlyweds. Because if I lose it, like, three years from now, guys, like... She might just have my stuff on the curb. Because she's like, I'm sick of him, and he doesn't have a TTR belt. Get out of here. So, um, I'm really hoping that, you know, somebody else can can take it for a spin. The, the um, this is really sad. Uh, is it the Mousy Criminal of Crimson Ton? I believe is the deck name that has it at the moment. It's sad that I don't remember that deck. That's like my winningest deck that I have at this point after those three challenges. We're going to blame it on the plague. Yeah. The plague's this got your brain fried. The, the, Tex <laughs> the Texas plague, the Texas has, plague. <laughs> has its hold on me. Um, Voltor Dallas was awesome, though. Um, the location could have been better. The hotel was very nice. But the location was... Um... Hey, sweetie. Mm -hmm. um, the location was not... Very accessible. 
there weren't really any restaurants within walking distance. Like, yeah, DoorDash is a thing, and I get that. But, like, um, to go out to eat, like, even to In-N-Out, which is, like, it was less than a mile away, normally walkable, there's no sidewalks or anything where it was. So, like, mm. you, you can't you can't really walk. Walking is difficult. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. But, yeah, it was it was great. The event staff were wonderful. Um I was really appreciative that Ghost Galaxy kind of let me do my thing, which was nice. Um, I got to see a lot of wonderful, awesome, amazing games. Um, in case you don't know, uh, the winner of the Alliance tournament was Gorlami, uh, Team Reapout, which I believe is based out of Texas. So, And the winner for the Archon tournament was Sith of Angmar, uh, also on Team Reapout. Um, also... Um, Team Repo. I'm pretty sure they're based in Texas. So there were a lot of local players in that top eight, which was wonderful to see. Nice. Um, so if there is a uh, vault tour in your area, um, go. If you have streaming stuff, I'm sure they'll let you stream. <laughs> and then you can claim to be undefeated like I am. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, swag was cool. Um, I wish there was more of it because I'm a swag oriented person. I uh, got some pins, so everybody got an Unchained pin, which we're going to do this. Remember, Clay, this, oh, here. We'll even do you one better. Look at that. It's very pretty. It was an Unchained. If you wanted Unchained games, you just put this on to do the Unchained challenge. I will say, uh, it looked like side events were always firing at the Vault Tour. I did not, I did not have a chance to. Sounds like you're busy. So. By, by the time I was done, it was over. And this is the Vault Tour 23 Dallas pin. It's real nice. Um, and then, uh, awesome, awesome Judge Marcus also made up these patches, which were really cool, for the Vault Tours um, that he had a few of to give to people. And I am super proud of this one. Um, can't get, get it, it to focus. focus. Oh, wait for it. Oh, there we go. There we go. You got it. But you can see the pink there. This is Dis. Yeah. Um, and I was so excited for that because I, I really love House Dis. Um, and I got Ghost Galaxy. This is how professional they are. They I, I got a press badge. <laughs> FYI, um, other than the mock journalism competition I attended in like my sophomore year of high school, this is the only press badge I've ever received. So I felt very, 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 very um, proud to have received that. Um, everybody got three sealed woe decks. I did play in the sealed tournament. I went uh, two and two. Nice. So not the best. But, and the fifth round, by the time the fifth round rolled along, I was done. I was just, after setting up the stream and, because I was in there like, two hours before they opened the event hall just setting up stuff and by the time I got everything lined out and played those events I was like I, I gotta be done for the day Yeah. Um, there was a slight hiccup uh, main event round one we kind of had got a late start to the tournament um, that was just uh, in play style something got clicked in the wrong order it wasn't necessarily that there was a big bug with the software or a malfunction I will say this regardless of even taking that into account, I'm so happy with playstyle. So much better than Gem ever was. Um, and I'm really excited to see them uh, enabling these tools to be able to repair things and move along. The Archon went off flawlessly, but the Alliance needed to be redone. And they had to figure out how to do that. And Ghost Galaxy was right on it. They were very proactive with the announcements. Um, the mood in the room never dipped. Nobody was ever... Um, super upset about it. There, there were a few cascade jokes. Um, if if you're a longtime key forger and went to a lot of vault tours, uh, you you know what the joke is there. Um, about starting a couple hours late, but um, everything went smooth. The day two was just right away and rocking. There were some amazing games to play. Um, I will say that on our day one stream, we do have a stream of the game between Zach Armstrong and. Ewok Jr., if you ever want an example of how to play competitive Keyforge, 
at a high level as far as being open and transparent and making sure that you aren't getting those play mistakes and you're checking every trigger, you need to watch that game. They were walking through their sequencing. They were checking with their opponent. They were both very, very proactive about their key forge play, and it was awesome to see because um, they're both very high-level players, and they did a wonderful job of walking their opponent. It wasn't about the stream. They were very good at walking their opponent through that game to make sure that there were no errors. It was it was magical. So, yeah. It, it was nice. Brianna's just like, shut up. Can we can we play games? Brianna, Brianna all day has been like, I don't care that you have the plague. I want to play games. Shut saying. up and suck it up. I'm let's, just let's get to it. Okay, so I brought back some Vault Masters decks. Um, because they're a thing and they're Keyforge decks and you can buy them there. These are houses that have never been printed before. Um, basically we came to the conclusion, somebody pointed this out, didn't come to the conclusion, somebody pointed this out and I'd never thought of it. This is Worlds Collide, except for you have Mars instead of Shadows. So, but there's no, like, set restriction limitations. There was somebody who played a Vault Master Alliance, and they had four stealth modes. I want that four stealth mode Captain Valjerico deck, thank you very much. That would be amazing. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna play, and yeah, hopefully my voice holds out after talking at you people for way too many minutes. <laughs> I was like, shut up! I want to play games. Six, nine, nine. nine. No, I can't. I can't even sticker at the moment. I can't sticker, huh? I apologize for the sniffles. The sounds bother you. Um, I I can't do anything about it other than not stream. Um, so I'm sorry I'm gross. <laughs> you have Sarian. Uh, Sarian, Logos, and Brobnar. Ooh, that could be spicy. Mm hmm. The succubus that peeves vaults. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a name. That is a name. Ooh, I got Star Alliance. Oh, no. I got Brobnar, Sari, and Star Alliance, and it's Marlevar who opens vaults. Okay. This could be fun. I also don't believe there are any tokens in this set, so there's no worry there. There's no, no tokens and no tide. So, Archon card, let's see what we got. Relentless Assault. Always happy to see Relentless Assault. And it has a damage pip. <laughs> Pop that ward. Throw somebody into it. Alaka. Alaka a lot. Volcano. Volcano sucks. <laughs> Sorry. It's got a cool name. Yeah. <laughs> Berserker Slam. Two of them. Berserker. Brammo. Like me some Brammos. Okay. Cow Fiend with a draw. What up? <laughs> Fresh Marks. Headhunter. Rant and Rive. And... Oh, got an exchange officer, which means we're going to have a Maverick Brobnar card in Star Alliance. <laughs> that, other than the volcano, you can't, you can't win them all. But, oh, Cincinnati Rex. <laughs> I don't think Brianna's ever seen this card. I'm going to let Brianna read this and we're going to see a reaction here. If there are no enemy creatures, destroy Cincinnati, Cincinnati Rex. After fight, you may exalt Cincinnati Rex. If you do, ready each other friendly card. Holy crappers. Each other friendly card. Yeah. Exalt. Card. Jeez Louise. Not creature. Yeah, card. Jeez. It's rude. With, with Star <laughs> Alliance house cheating? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> 
Exile, give control of a friendly creature to your opponent. Make sure there's always stuff to fight. Philophosaurus. Ah, regrettable meteor is just regrettable. <laughs> Aquilia, two of them. Primus. Oh, an epic poem with Cincinnatus. <laughs> Come on, Golden Spiral. Come on. Monumental Ludo, which means there will be a Perfectus. Ostracize, which, in my opinion, the value of Ostracize has gone up a lot lately. Um, you lose an Amber, and then you purge a creature. There's Ludo. Did I have one more? Two Ludos. And that's it. No Golden Spiral. Golden Spiral is a card that, it's an artifact, and you action it. Exalt a creature. If you do, ready that creature. With that, you just ready With this, everything. you just ready... You use everything, mm -hmm. and then you fight Cincinnatus Rex into something, and then ready everything back, including your Golden Spiral. Nice. It's an OG <laughs> combo. <laughs> yeah. It's an old combo, sir, but it still works. <laughs> okay. Now, Star Alliance. We got a Foozle. This is a Maverick from Brobnar. After Reap, if an enemy creature was destroyed this turn, gain one. Not the most productive card that you want in Star Alliance for the most part. <gasps> Quixel Stone deck. <laughs> that makes me sad because this is a lot of creatures. Force Field. Quintrino Warp. I really like that one. Commander Chan. CPO Zytar, Grand Alliance Council. This is a killing creatures kind of deck. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Two of them. Kirker, Rogue Operation with a draw. That's pretty good. Ooh, Subject Kirby. And Zap. No Jericho. <laughs> don't need anything else. <laughs> no Jericho. You got a lot going on already. <laughs> okay, what you got, Nana? <clears throat> All right, Monument of Octavia. Okay. Tracerian Legionary. Got a couple of those. It's always a solid I got card. Golden Spirals. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> Galeotops. Crushing Charge. Cornison Octavia, Council Primus, Citizen Shrix, Chaosodon, and then they got Wild Wormhole. Okay. Titan Engineer, Phase Shift, Mother, Binate Rupture, Arma Drones, eh. Think Twice. Think Twice is real good. Interdimensional Graft. Oh, you got Binate Rupture and Interdimensional Graft. That's a sweet combo, by the way. These ones? Fire Gains and Numbering. Oh, wow. So you double your... <laughs> yeah, so if your opponent's it. already gonna, gonna forge, yeah. you just double their Amber and you get everything, get everything that else. you doubled. Nice. I like it. Yeah. Um, Archon's Callback. Entropic Swirl. Academy Training. Yeah, that's it's an okay logo suite. And I got a Foozle as well. Oh. A drummer knot. A cow fine. Got a couple Bramos. Bingle Bang Bang. Bingle Bang Bang. I like that name. Uh Smith. Screech Bomb. Relentless Assault. Got a cannon. Banner of Battle and an auto cannon. <laughs> Wow, those are some, that's a pretty, I wish you had a Gager Chieftain in there, because that would be a real fun deck. I don't know any of these. <laughs> None of them look familiar. <laughs> I don't know if it's just because it's been a while. It's, or... it's been a while, and you haven't really um, played, um, you've played World Winds of Exchange more than any, I would say, every other set put together. Yeah, I would say that's so... true. So... Um, yeah. A lot of these are Age of Ascension and Worlds Collide cards. And we've played the least amount of Worlds Collide. Okay. 
because it's not my favorite sealed set. I do think it's sad that neither of us got Mars. Yeah. Since Mars is the one that hasn't been printed with the rest of them before now. <laughs> and then we don't get it. Okay, you're going first because you won the dice roll. We will see what happens. See, we we change stuff around, and I just don't I don't have everything that I look who, look who you did, messed it all up. Messed it all up. <laughs> just hide that. Hide that. Hide that. Da, 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 da. Um, we need to add a source. I guess we, oh, there we go. Where's that hidden? That's weird. You told it to. No, no. <laughs> um, flash? Ah. Uh, I don't know. Okay, I'm drawing six, right? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Some point in my terrible riffle shuffling, I. You know what? Sometimes you just have to feel like a nut. <laughs> I'm a nut. 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 Go. I'm an acorn small and round. Give me a tops. Nice. Lying on the cold, cold ground. As long as I'm in my head now. Look what you did. <laughs> Star Lance. Quixel Stone. Quixel. CPO Zytar, Force Field, and pass turn. Draw three. Do Brabnar. Brabnar. And we can do Bramo. Okay. Deal damage there. And I'm gonna do Bramo again. Nope, you can't. Quicksil yeah. Stone. Oh. You control more creatures than me, so you cannot play creatures. That's rude. Yep. Sure he is. Okay, fine. I'll do Banner of Battle then. Nice. It's a solid play. Then I guess I'll just ready. You ruined everything. I did ruin everything. <laughs> I am going to call Brabnar. Brabnar. Um, start off with a Bramo of my own to deal two to each of them. And then I am going to Berserker Slam there to kill it. Make you lose one, except for you haven't generated any. Oh, shoot. I messed that up. That's okay. Oh. How, many, how much demo? Oh, no. I did five total. Okay. And it, because I'm counting for the plus one. Okay. And then I'm going to play a Rant and Rive. Rant and Rive. And 
going to discard Calfee. That was my first play mistake of the night. Uh, I should have played Calfee and then Berserker Slam the Bramo. Oh, because that gives Because that would have drawn me this card. Would, ah, was, wouldn't have mattered. Wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> I knew that all along. It's all part of your plan. You know what you're doing. Okay. Now you can go up to three. Unless you kill something. In which case you can't. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. I'm going to play Bramo. Deal two here again. So they both take one. It's each enemy flank. So, because oh. armor, they both take one. No, both of mine. Oh, okay. Each enemy flank. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. And then I'm going to play Drummer Knot and return this to my hand. Yep. And then I'm going to play it again. So, dies and then is up to three. Okay. You jerk. <laughs> and that's my turn. Yeah, that was a good play. Uh, Saurian. Monument to Ludo. Aquilia Lone Hero. Perfectus Ludo. Consul Primus. Got, got a lot going on. Ready? And draw four. Do logos. Okay. And I think I'm going to do Don't mind, don't mind the man behind the screen. <laughs> okay, what do you got here? Okay, what you got? Okay, I'm gonna put Academy training on Galia tops. Okay. It is now Logos. It is now Logos. And I'm going to do... It is no longer Saurian, just so you know. Yeah. Um... I'm going to do Entropic Swirl. Okay. And I'm going to choose... Um, everything has two traits. So everything will take four damage. Yeah. Um, and you'll gain two ever. I think I'm going to deal four here. Okay. And you gain two. And then I'm going to do... For the first time in forever. <laughs> You've gained some amber. I gained some. Yay! Um, okay, I'm going to reap. Okay. And draw a card. Okay. And then I'm going to play um, Titan Engineer. Okay. And I'm going to use Phase Shift to play uh, 
council premise. Okay. And ready. Alrighty. Um, Star Alliance. Um, I'm going to start by using Omni on Aquila to uh, capture one because you have more enemy creatures than friendly creatures. <clears throat> and then I am going to play... Foozle. Foozle. Then I'm going to play Grand Alliance Council. Choose a creature of each house. Destroy each creature not chosen. This is my Saurian, so destroy all your Saurians. Me? Yep. This is my Brobnar, so destroy all your Brobnars. Rude. This is my Star Alliance, and then I'm going to choose this one, so destroy that one. This one stays? Yep. That time I sequenced it right, you see, because <laughs> learned. And then I'm going to play Rogue Operation, which has a draw icon, so I'm going to draw. And then I will discard the top two, Star Alliance and Brobnar, so I steal two. The only two you generated this game. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, I will check with six. He's seven. Nope, not on a flank. Oh, not he on is a flank. Now on, he is on both okay. flanks. How and dare I it. will draw two. How dare you? How dare you, sir? crappy hand right now. Yeah, if you had binate rupture in a dimensional graph, you'd be doing okay. What? <laughs> be doing okay now? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Because I was going to play those. <laughs> um, okay, finite rupture. I guess I should play that one first because then I get an amber. But that's fine. No, you can't. Uh, binate rupture has alpha. Oh. You have to do it first. Okay, that makes sense then. Okay, and then I mentioned the graft. Okay. And one and, and the front pit. And, yep. and I'm gonna reap. And ready and pass turn. Okay. I forge, you get six. Yay! be the most amber, so we're going to go with that. I'm going to call Sarian, play Epic Poem, exalt a friendly creature, then gain one for each, so I'll gain two. I will reap. I'm going to use Monument to Ludo to move two from that creature to the common supply because Ludo is in my discard pile. I'm gonna discard Cincinnatus Rex and then I'm gonna play Regrettable Meteor to destroy all creature, destroy each dinosaur and each creature with power six or higher. Mine too. 
Yep, so yours and my Aquilia die. Okay. And those two live. So yeah, fun times. Fun times I will ready and draw three. Okay. Wish I had some tax there. Forge. Okay, I'm gonna do Robnar. 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 And I'm gonna do um, Cannon. And I'm gonna do Bing Bang. Bingo bang bang. Bingo bang bang. And then I'm gonna do Relentless Assault. And ready. And then fight here. Okay. So they all die. Everybody dies. Okay. And then play an auto cannon. Okay. And ready. Keeping the board clean, people. Keeping it clean. It's not helping anybody. <laughs> we are keeping the board clean. I'm going to call Sarian. <clears throat> Play Exile for the Amber Pip. <laughs> Play Falafasaurus. And discard Aquilia. Ready and draw three. Thanks for remembering Lotto Kid. Yep. All right. Okay. I'm going to do. Chaosodon. And then I guess I'm going to do Golden Spiral. Uh, that's an artifact. Oh. Okay. That makes it slightly easier, I guess. <clears throat> and then um, I think I'm just going to This card crushing charge. Ready. You should not have discarded the crushing charge. I should not have? No. Should use it? You should have used it, yes. Um, I'm gonna call Sarian. Play Perfectus Ludo. Get a Reap with Philophosaurus. Get an Amber. Look at the top three cards. Um, archive one, uh, archive, add one to my hand and put, and discard one, right? Yep. And ready. And check with six. Flawfosaurus is one of the most powerful cards in the game if you can reap with it. Do I got? Okay. Um, okay, I'm going to 
do Robnar. 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 <clears throat> put Screech Bomb into play. So many artifacts. I know, right? Um, I'm going to do Cow Fine and Foozle. And then I'm going to do uh, Smith. For the tip. And I gain two because I control more. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to um, use my cannon to deal two damage there. And ready. And check with six. Okay, I am going to call. Oh, I'm going to forge. Yeah, you are. Um, yeah, I am. <laughs> I think I'm lucky to get one artifact out. <laughs> this, is, this is weird. <laughs> <laughs> you can call Star Alliance. Play a Commander Chan with a Capture Pip. Capture there. Play Subject Kirby, which will allow me to play a non Star Alliance creature. Except for I can't, because I have more creatures than you. Hmm. <laughs> So I will ready and draw two. And pass turn. Jeez Louise. <laughs> this is like the wet noodle fight to end all wet noodle fights, right? people. Like, it's like Okay. Um, between the Quixel Stone and all the creature destruction between both decks, we are in it for the long haul, apparently. Okay. Gonna do Sarian. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, gonna do Tricerian Legionary. Okay. Oh, uh, armor. has armor. Yep. But and Ward's a Ward's a creature. Ward's a creature. I'm going to ward this guy. Okay. And then I'm going to play another Tricerion. Okay. To ward another creature. Right there. Well, you don't want two wards next, or two taunts next to each other. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So I'm going to ward there. Okay. And then I'm going to. Um, Fight here. Okay. And it deals before, three. No, before fight, deal three damage to each of Chaos and Dawn's neighbors. Because it takes the ward away, right? Yep. Okay. So, splash attack three. Okay. So, let me. And then we'll die. Mm -hmm. Destroyed effect from Ludo. That goes away. Because destroyed effects happen. And then the creatures leave. Okay. And since this is a static effect, the destroyed effect still happens because Ludo still exists. Okay. That's why Brianna didn't get the amber. Okay. Because they were all killed at the same time. Gotcha, gotcha. It's okay. I mostly wanted to get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then... Um... I think I'm going to Golden Spiral this guy, ready him, okay. and then I'm going to reap with him. Okay. 
And then I'm just going to play a couple more Golden Spirals. Oh, just, just a couple just more. Just throw them down. Yeah. And just. then, yeah, ready. And check with six. Okay. Oh, could I do that? Yeah. Okay, because I played them before. The you played them before. Okay, I was just and panicked I had, that I... I had four and you have five. Okay. The, the math was all there. You were good. Okay. Okay, I'm going to call Brobnar. Brobnar. Pick up my archive. I am going to play an exchange officer, which play after fight, after reap, use a friendly Star Alliance card. So I'm going to reap with subject Kirby. You may play a non stylance creature this turn. Yeah. With Kirby. Yeah. Kirby. Not, not worried about that. <laughs> and then I'm going to play Fresh Marks. Get a pip. Destroy a friendly creature. If you do, exalt three enemy creatures. So I'm going to destroy subject Kirby. And exalt, exalt, exalt. I am going to play Headhunter, and then I am going to play Relentless Assault, damage here to pop the armor. Mm -hmm. Wait, no, I don't care about that. Uh, damage there. It's got, oh, damage. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Ready and fight with up to three different friendly creatures one at a time. So ready, fight here to deal it three damage. Okay. Ready, fight here to deal it four damage. And then I am going to Volcano to deal four damage to each creature and gain two chains. It dies. Well, that's six. Oh, right. This one does die, though. Yep. And then this one has four. Oh, I math that wrong. I forgot about banner battle. That's okay. And then this one does die too. Yep. Okay, and then I'm going to Berserker Slam. Berserker Slam. To deal four damage there. Um, since it destroyed that creature, you lose one. Lose. Oh, just lose it. Yep. And that's my turn. I will shed a chain, <clears throat> draw f three, shuffle, and then draw one more. And check with six. Okay. Let's see. I was planning on doing things. <laughs> <laughs> including forge a key <laughs> you ruined it <laughs> ruin everything ruin it um
<laughs> okay. Before you get too far into the line of play that you're looking at, okay. which involves you playing the think twice with the capture icon on it, mm -hmm. read your artifacts. And I'm going to destroy Screech Bomb. So I lose two. Mm -hmm. And then. I'm going to play. Wild Wormhole. Play the top card on my deck. You get the Amber first. Yes. Play that. You can't play it, so it just goes right back on top okay. of your deck. On top of your on deck. On top of my deck. Okay. Yep. Um. Okay. We'll play. I think twice. And capture. capture one here. Okay. And action, action card. I'm gonna play Grab Smith. Oh, I can't. That's not right. Why not? Because I can. Oh, I can play. Yeah. Because the card tells me I can. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna play Smith. And he gets perched. It. So I'll get an amber. Yep. And then I gain two. Yep. And then um, that's all I got. So check. Alrighty. I am going to call Star Alliance. I'm gonna start off by playing Quintrino Warp. Choose a friendly creature and an enemy creature. Destroy those creatures and each creature that shares a house with them, gain one shape. Then I'm going to play Lieutenant Kirker. Kirker! Takes the damage. CPO Zytar, because we ain't making that mistake again. <laughs> then I'm going to zap. Zap, zap! To deal two damage here and kill it. And I'm going to check with six. This did not take a damage because of the armor. Okay. Check with six. Ready, shed a chain, and draw four. Okay. I forge a second key. Yep. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I'm gonna do Saurian. Okay. So I'm gonna do Citizen Shrix. Okay, exalt. Take some damage, exalt it. Steal one. And then I'm gonna play Cornison Octavia. Okay. And take some damage with the armor. And I'm gonna play Monument Octavia as well. And then I'm gonna do Golden Spiral. Act, exalt this one, ready it, and then I'm going to action it to capture two. Okay. And then I'm going to do this one to exalt here, ready it, and reap. And exalt. And exalt. Because it doesn't give you an option. Yeah. And steal. Yes. And then I'm going to exalt it again. Ready it. Ready. Reap. Reap. Gain one. Gain one. Exalt it. Exalt it. Steal one. <laughs> okay. So that's, oh, oh 
boogie. Okay. And that's my turn. I'm ready. And check. Well, I cannot stop you. Woo! That was close. <laughs> Not even a little bit. I got I got two board I got three creature destruction cards in my hand and two creatures. No amber control. Woo! No draw, no nothing. <laughs> I don't think I don't think even I don't think there's anything in this deck that could stop you at eight anyway. You don't want a couple captures or anything like that? Well, not a single card. Oh, gotcha. Oh, I guess Rant and Rive. Oh yeah. I do recognize that one. But it was buried. So yeah. Yay! Who knew that three golden spirals was, was good? <laughs> especially with especially a, with only two creatures with going a, on. With a citizen tricks. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. That was fun. That was pretty good. <clears throat> Thinking back, I should have just done that three times. <laughs> yeah. Because then it wouldn't have been on there. It just would have been there. So. No. Because if I'd had the rant and rive, you would have lost it all. Everything mm -hmm. you'd stolen. Mm -hmm. And I probably could have killed that creature and it would have had seven amber on it. Mm -hmm. So it was alright to split it up. That's good. I mean, it was a go for broke moment anyway. Yeah, so. I felt like if I could hold you off enough to get me closer, mm -hmm. then... So but. yeah, that was Vault Masters. That was fun. If you live in America, you get Vault Masters. Or if you can travel to America for Vault Tours, you can get Vault Master decks. But um, the international community, not so much. So, yeah. Thank you for helping keep my steps straight, because I was like, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> Who am I? I don't know. Hey, everybody should be doing that. Yeah. I like it. Close game. It was a close game. One turn, man. I think well, it came down to one turn. It did. <laughs> it's all it came down to. <clears throat> all she wrote. Mm hmm Alrighty. Um I think that's I think we're gonna not do two games of Key Forge <laughs> Um the plague's kinda kicking my ass at the moment, so um, we're going to take a small break and we're going to switch over and do some Marvel Champs. We are not in the Galaxy's Most Wanted box anymore, if you are at all interested. <laughs> um, Which I know everybody is. I know everybody is. Um, <laughs> but we will be back, um, not next week. Not next week. Um, week. not the week after. Why? Because I'm gone. Where are you going? I'm out of town for work. Again. Why? Yes, Why do you always leave me? I know. Who am I supposed to play games with when you're not here? <laughs> I know. <I'm laughs> Nobody sorry. wants to play games. <laughs> it's because you act like this, Rhea. No! <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're... Um, Two we're, weeks? Yeah. Oh! Yes. <laughs> I'm going to be in the Great White North. It's a real harsh tie. Next week, and then I'm going to be in um, Twin Falls the following week. Mm -hmm. So, you know, fun times. The, the, the Midwest of Idaho. <laughs> Midwest of Idaho. I love the Midwest. It is not the Midwest of Idaho. I think you're one of the few people, at least around here, that likes it. <laughs> I love the Midwest. Because <laughs> you grew up in the Midwest. I grew up in the Midwest of Idaho, apparently. <laughs> I'll crack myself uh, up. <laughs> that somebody does. <laughs> yeah, that was me. You cracked me up, too. Um, so, yeah, we'll be back in a few minutes. And as you can tell, not much voice left. So we might be playing a silent game of Marvel Champions. Doing a lot of hand signals. Bye-bye. <laughs> Toot-toot.